Hello. Today we will we are going to learn how to install Grafana on Amazon Cloud. Okay, my name is Hanif, and let's look into the agenda for today's presentation. Okay, so the agenda is first. We I'll just explain what is Grafana, then features of Grafana. What are the system requirements if you want to install Grafana in your local machine or in a server, and how to install? Okay, so. First, what is Grafana? Grafana is a multi-platform open source analytics and interactive visualization web application. It provides charts, graphs, and alerts for the web when connected to supported data sources. Basically, we can use visualization Grafana as a visualization tool. You can connect various data sources, and we can visualize. As a dashboard, okay. This is a web-based web -based application. The features of Grafana is you can unify your data and not your database. So you can bring connect to multiple databases, and all the data can be unified into one dashboard. And uh, data everyone can see means you can share the data. You can create a dashboard, and the whole whatever dashboard you create can be visible to others or within your organization based on the credentials you set and the flexibility you can transform any data into a flexible and versatile dashboards so there is basically there is no limitation it's open source you can install and you can run your own server okay now the system requirements for running grafana is you need to have a linux machine you can also install in windows but in this tutorial i am going to explain how to install in linux machine ubuntu and you need minimum 1 gb of ram and 10 gb of hard disk okay and if you want to have more details on grafana you can visit their website grafana.com and also if you want to play around it or you want to have a look how it works and everything you can also visit play.grafana.org they have very extensive documentations and also they have very good demo sites available online steps to install and aws first we are going to spin an ec2 instance with ubuntu 20.04 then we need to make sure this server is accessible from the website like we need to open the port 80 or 443 then we will install grafana there then Grafana basically runs on port 3000. So to make sure it uh, to re uh, reverse proxy, we need to use nginx. Nginx basically when we access port 443, it will internally redirect to the port 3000. We can configure in that way. So without much delay, just let's move on to the installation part. So this is the Grafana.com website. If you go here, you will see the full details of the products and everything and also you can see a little video or anything so it will give you a brief idea like how grafana will be look like will look like and what are the various features so this is a like a 1 minute video or 30 second video which will give little highlights what and all we can do with the grafana okay so you can refer from the website and also if you want to play around you can also go to play.grafana.org and you can see different variety of uh, dashboards in the system okay, okay? So this is one of their uh, this one. So you see, you can like you know you can select the data and different various formats and you can ex explore it. And also they have different kind of like you know presentations. You can just go and see from the uh, play.grafana.org. Okay. So without uh, much delay, I've just uh, we'll just go and start with our agenda. So basically, what we are planning to do is today will be like installing uh, 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 Grafana on a Amazon Cloud EC2 installation. For that, first you log into your Amazon AWS Cloud, the AWS Management Console. Once you log in, you just select the EC2 instances. Okay. So from the EC2 instance, we are going to spin up. Uh, you can click launch instances. And we'll be going to slash. I'll just put a name called Grafana. Okay. Then you can install Ubuntu. You can search for Ubuntu image. 
I'm sure there is Ubuntu available here. You can also select Ubuntu this one or I select we can use this uh, Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. Okay. And also if you are uh, having pre tire eligibility, you can also use for free. Okay. So you select this one, put a name like Grafana, then we select Ubuntu, then we select this 20.4 okay then also you make sure if you want to connect it to your uh, remotely using putty or anything you uh, make sure you created a key pair okay so i already have my key pair i'll just select this one okay then also you click the create security group then you make sure you select this one ssh traffic enable and also you need to click this to hello http yes and http traffic so basically if you select these two all features once the server is ready you will be able to access from outside using the port 80 and 443 is available from the public if not you need to configure the security later okay so with this we can just launch the instance so it says successfully launched so from here you can see it says it's still pending i think it may take a moment to fin uh, finish the installation so once it is ready it says running now so you can click here then also i think there's an option you can connect from here to the instance directly okay so this is the web based uh, uh, console so you no need to you can use the ssh putty but at this moment i'll this is much easier so you can use the ubuntu uh, from the web based console directly okay so i'm using from here just click connect uh, since uh, it's just uh, spinning up it may take few seconds like you know to become live okay so at this stage what we are going to do is just like you run uh, update command that's a sudo add apd update okay so this will update the packages everything okay once it's run then you need to add uh, like once it is done you just type sudo and update the uh, you need to install this uh, these softwares i'll put this all this in the description of the video so we'll just install these packages which is uh, required okay then you add the gpg key for grafana so just go here just paste this command and also you need to add this one here you just add sudo because you need to be have root access or else it will not hello okay continue with this one so it's added okay the next option is you need to add grafana repository to your ubuntu so for that i just paste this command but you make sure you will add sudo here okay so you added the grafana repository now just before we proceed just click uh, update again once again because you just added the repository so just you added the repository now it's our time to install grafana okay so just type sudo so grafana is getting installed now It's almost finishing okay now it shows i think almost it's done so what you can go is what, so you can just run the status uh, just see whether it's installed or no if it is installed what is the version so you see this grafana server minus v means it is displaying the version number of the grafana install okay so now at this moment grafana is installed okay now what we need to do is we can we need to add grafana as a service so that you no need to run it every time it will be running as a service and also we need to make sure when you restart the machine it will be enable automatically start 
so we just add it to the uh, enable grafana servers okay so we'll create a symlink and it'll add it to the this one so with this you can also check the status of the grafana server at the moment so it says grafana server is running now okay so this basically so i'm just press control c so it will be back so basically now the grafana server is installed okay and also you can see if you want you can see like what is running in the port 3000 as i mentioned grafana is running in port 3000 okay so it is available now since grafana is running in 3000 port 3000 we want to access it from the public okay so for that what we are going to use is we are going to install uh, nginx reverse proxy for that you just run this command sudo apt get install nginx sorry i made a typo it should be sudo okay so you install the nginx now we need to edit the configuration so this basically when a request come okay so we'll just add sudo here in the beginning so uh, here what i'm going to do is i'll just add this text i'll put it in the description so you can copy will be able to copy paste it okay so first thing is i'll just go here it's make sure it's a small letter yes okay and also you need to add the server name it's here grafana.example.com but you need to have your own public domain name which one you want to use for grafana in my case what i'm going to do is Uh, aws by default it is providing a public ip a public dns so in my case it is like here if you go to instances you can see public ip for dns i'll just copy this one and i'll use the same exactly same thing so as my this one okay so i'll do one thing i'll paste it here Okay, so this one is there. Okay, now that's done, and also now you have your port three thousand. So basically, what happens is if any request coming to this address, okay, it will be forwarded to localhost three thousand. Okay, with that you can just save this. Control X, please. Yes. Okay. So at this moment, if you want to test uh, the NGX status, what is happening? You can just uh, type ngx minus t so sudo ngx minus t okay so it says there is an error actually could not build the server name as you should increase the server name okay so what happened is i am using a very long domain name uh, dns address it should be very short actually because this is more crossing more than like long characters what we need to do is we need to go to ngx and we need to size the increase the buffer size okay it clearly says you need to increase the bucket size you can see the error message here it says you should increase the server name's bucket size okay for that what you need to do is go to sudo then paste go here sorry i just missed something sudo nano okay go here then you have a parameter somewhere where it says the bucket size actually so you just just um, uh, uncomment this line and make it you can make it more now it's 64 you just make it 128 it doesn't matter it's just the length of the url okay with that you can press exit and save okay so if you go here and run the status again it says configuration is successful means your ngx is ready at the moment okay now let's do one thing let's restart ngx server okay so with that we'll just go here sudo ngx server okay server is restarted now this is our public ip address just to go to your website 
So if everything is well, then it should you should be able to see this graph on a screen. Wow, great. So our installation is successful and you are able to see. Okay, so the first time when you log in, what you need to do is go to put the username ad, admin and password is admin. This is your base uh, first first time you should use admin admin. Then when you log in, it will ask you to create a new password. So you can create a new password now. So I'll just put CVVM. Okay, so I'm just creating a new password now. I submit great so now we are able to see the grafana server this is running from my aws ec2 okay as a quick test let's go to dashboards browse okay we'll just create uh, a new dashboard okay i'll create a new dashboard i'll add a new row and i'll put a name if easy to test just i want to make sure it's working fine okay then i can go here and also i can add a panel add a new panel okay for this i'll just select a sample from grafana i'll just use the time series i'll apply okay it's running here so i can push it inside this one it's done okay then i can go and i can duplicate it so when i duplicate i'll go here and i'll edit i'll take something else or i can select a bar gauge i think there's nothing much in this one so anyway i'll just select this one and i'll apply just i want to have a proof of concept that's all so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make it a smaller i'll make it fit here okay that's it so at the end i can just save it okay so this is my first dashboard hope this is simple and so at this moment your server is ready you don't need to do anything much okay so i hope you enjoy this short video and it's very helpful and also you can repeat the same thing Thank you, thanks for your time.